Hey folks, I know it's been a while since I've done any kind of videos on YouTube or any of that nonsense. Um, I've also been a while since I've done a wine review. Tonight, however, I thought I would open up um, this Tifosi Venaroso from, from Italy. Uh, picked it up from First Leaf. I apologize in advance for the angle. I'm doing this in my uh, second bedroom right now and things are kind of in, in, in transition as we move to a new apartment here soon so uh, the lighting is going to be terrible and all that sort of stuff for the time being once I'm settled in uh, and things change I may be doing these reviews with an associate of mine but um, i going to apologize for something else too this is a Bordeaux style wine out of Italy I know very little about it right now not having had a taste of it I picked it up from First Leaf um, and I, I've had good stuff, good success with them for the most part. The only time they fooled me was I'm not a big fan of South African wines. And once or twice, they slipped a couple in that were actually pretty decent in my opinion. Uh, Y'all know me, I'm a bit of a wine snob as well. That being said, um, sorry for the glass as well. It's not the appropriate glass. But we're going to go ahead and give this wine a try. And then uh, see what it's like. So we'll go ahead and crack this open. Traditionally, a lot of folks will take the waiter's friend and throw on the top of the bottle and cut the top off, the foil off. I did that for the longest of times, but I still found that I would occasionally end up with portions of the label and uh, portions of the foil in the glass, and that was always a terrible thing. Then I was at Occidental in San Francisco when they were still cool, and I watched Yvette Take the blade of the waiter's friend, slide up the plastic as I'm doing such like so. Cut across, blade goes down, foil comes off, there you go. So we have our wine. I don't know much about this wine, but the back of it says raspberry, pomegranate, and cedar. Now, full disclosure, I just finished smoking a cigar. The first one was a Project 40 by Alec Bradley de Maduro. And then I had followed it up with um, one of my old school favorites, the Undercrown by um, Drew Estate, also the Maduro. Both of those cigars tended to impart a rich, uh, like robust coffee notes to them, as well as bits of pepper and spice. Since then, I haven't had a chance to really clean my palate the way I should have. It's just been a time factor. A little bit of water has taken care of most of that, but I may be a little bit off. However, let's get cracking. So we insert the corkscrew. I twist from the bottom sometimes. Lift up. And cork is off. All right. We don't nose bottles. That doesn't really tell you much anyway because of the... Uh, neck being so thin so you could spoil it around all day and not get much out of the way of that other than the taste of the smell of wine so here we go pouring a little bit of the wine on the glass gonna go a little too much frankly but give it a good swirl let's do it on the desk there we go let's see this Feel free when you're spoiling wine to get a little aggressive with it. It's kind of hard in this glass. It's not really the appropriate glass as I mentioned earlier. I don't have that glass anymore. I used to, but they broke as they do when you're a heavy wine drinker. So I believe there's been scientific evidence to show the difference between swirling left and swirling right. I don't particularly care one way or the other, but here we go. You can get aggressive. You can tell. The alcohol content by the legs, there is none in terms of the uh, legs on this particular wine. Also, again, glass. No, nope, I'm literally shoving my nose in that glass. And I am picking up actual berry flavors on it already with a hint of spice as well. So I'm just really snobbish about the swirl. Like I will swirl for days, frankly, if I really wanted to. It's a two-year-old wine, three-year-old wine, basically, out of Italy. This will be a second part in a two-part video. Didn't realize I had no space. Now for the tasting. Mm. 
definite raspberry and cedar. Those are very, very strong. The last note, what does it say? Pomegranate. I've only had pomegranate seeds once and I recall them being on the sweeter side, but that was just the one time. So anyway, uh, so far decent. I've got a steak in the oven soon. So I'm going to leave with that and then clear out my phone and remember next time to use my iPad. Anyway, until next time, this has been the White Wolf of White Wolf Indulgence. Cheers.